All right, so we are back in Bangkok, and we're going to go visit some places, a park, starting off on the MTS system, which is different from the SkyTrain, which is the BTS. This is underground. Maybe M stands for Metro, not sure. Checking on that. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so like the BTS, the MTS also has arrows. You are to avoid the ones pointing away from the train or sliding doors, or she can run over. For someone like me that might uh, cause a scar um, and they use a uh, black token for this system the other one it's like a card but this is like a black token that they give you uh, at least for single riders what we're doing single ride uh, fares the other one it's a card so yeah pretty cool system okay so we're at Lumpini Park which is Bangkok's version of Central Park in New York uh, a lot less people on a bit quite a bit smaller in that as well um, and it's uh, but it's still nonetheless a nice park for the city of Bangkok um, a little escape from all the hustle and bustle and there's uh, all sorts of wacky stuff going on people on bicycles and boating and you can take a look there uh, this is the one we can actually see from our hotel uh, the view from our hotel includes this park you might remember from our earlier videos. So yeah, nice and green. It's been raining a lot, so um, a kind of little little green escape, the lungs of the city I'm gonna call it. How's the tuk tuk? Oh. I don't know if I include that. <laughs> no, that was good. Okay, I'll, I'll this, this will not make the final vlog. It may. This will be cut. It may make the final vlog. Yeah, Alright, so we're leaving Lupini Park. Where are we going next? To the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, which is a very famous hotel here in Bangkok. We're going to check it out. some kind of street vendor that'll come right up to the tuk tuk. Yeah. Which happens a lot here too, but if not, yeah, it may well, just be squid on a stick? What do you think? Squid yeah, on squid on a stick. Or fish head on a stick. Okay, anything on a stick, basically. Right. If it comes in the ocean and it's on a stick, you're going to eat it. And it's not moving anymore. Yeah, I'll eat it. You're, you're not flexible on the moving part? No. No. It has to be dead? Pretty much dead. Any, okay. kind of dead. Any kind of dead food on a stick from the ocean, Dan will eat it. You heard it here first. Let's see what happens. We finally made it to the right Mandarin Hotel after being taken to the wrong Mandarin Hotel. We are now at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel as opposed to the plain Mandarin. Do you have 500? And uh, we had to pay the taxi driver a little bit extra because we had bargained him for 150 baht and now it is more than 150 baht because it took about three times as long as we thought. <laughs> Here he goes. Yeah. Here. Getting out. I know I should have... Uh, Oiled myself up first. 
but I forgot. I think that was one of the smaller Tuk Tuks we've been in without a step, too. That's right. There's the Vaseline that you need it. Yeah. That'll be for the... That'll be cut. That'll be another part of the vlog. Right. Yes. Vaseline. Yes. Bye. <coughs> All right, we made it. Yes, left the Mandarin, the famous Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Bangkok. We came here to have lunch. I uh, hope that works out. If not, I'm going to eat uh, probably a plant or something. Okay, so basically we didn't find any uh, animals on a stick on the way. No, no. We missed that part. We didn't find any McDonald's, ironically, not even one. No, he took a slightly different route from where I thought we were going to pass the McDonald's to avoid a lot of the traffic, so... No, it was a foodless route. Kind of rough, but... We made it. So here we are at lunch, and Dan is trying... What do you have there? Jeff, fried squid. How's your fried squid? Good. Very good so far. Fried squid onion rings, basically? Yes. Like kind of what they are, fried onion, onion rings. rings. That's it. And how do they taste compared to onion rings? Um, better. Really? Better, yeah, a little more protein, the squid part. Tough, and, uh, easy to chew, hard to chew? Uh, easy to chew. So, I'm enjoying it. This is the appetizer. Now, I got a Greek salad with no salad, which I thought was interesting. There's absolutely no lettuce in the salad. First time I've ever had a Greek salad without any lettuce, but they got everything else, so. We'll take what we can get. Maybe we'll have to combine the two later. We'll see. So, I'm, well, I ordered ribs, uh, short ribs to be exact, here at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, and um, turns out there's no rib part of it. Rib without the ribs. Ribs without the ribs. Basically, just the meat. So, there might be a way of preparing them that I'm not familiar with, but we'll give it a try. Kind of like a challenge of taking out the rib, though, you know? Bone. And some uh, potato croquettes, I think they're called, or, or tater tots. As we, as we know them. So, uh, looking forward to eating, finally, late in the afternoon. All right, so we're here at the Mandarin, Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Bangkok, and uh, checking out the uh, river boats uh, going down. There's been some really interesting looking ones, very classic looking wooden structures that float. Um, also some other, other barges, not as pretty. And um, yeah, it's dessert time, so I ordered the soft tiramisu. Not sure what the hard tiramisu looks like, but um, looks interesting. Here at what at one of their restaurants, figured it's uh, might as well try every course, see how it is. That's the, my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. And some coffee. So that's it. All right, so we had a great lunch here at the Mandarin, Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Bangkok. It was quite delicious. My short ribs, I must say. So we're gonna look around the hotel a bit. And then we're gonna head up to the famous Sky Bar from the movie Hangover 2, I believe. And uh, the domed building up there, there's no place like dome, I always say. So come on along. dressed up like in chic outfits. Um, kind of like the Iron Sheik for you guys who remember him, the wrestler. So we had to kind of uh, delay our vlogging, but now we're back. And still some security detail looking people. Guys with a lot of earpieces. If you look towards the back there. And um, yeah, still not totally at ease here in the lobby of the Mandarin Oriental. Um, a lot of guys with earpieces and suits. Um, in 90 degree, in 200 degree weather, which we have, or maybe 110. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, hey, we're here at the State Tower, uh, Le Bou Hotel, I think I spelled it right. If not, the correct name will appear under my face. Going up to the dome that was used in the sky bar that was used in the movie. Uh, hang over to. So anyway, yeah, we uh, didn't quite make it in there. Um, they actually have a, didn't notice that there is a dress code posted out here. I think shorts can be elegant. Um, they're just not up on the latest fashions, apparently. Um, but anyway, this was, um, it was from this movie. Uh, you might have seen Hangover Part Two. They apparently uh, had a scene sitting outside of the um, sky bar up there under the dome. There's no place like dome. 
and uh, that's what we wanted to see. Kind of like a, a, a place that's been in a pretty famous movie. So we'll see if we'll have time to give it a try. If not, another trip. Since we couldn't get into the sky bar, we went to an aquarium instead and found this sculpture outside of it. Okay, so you kiss his ass, you kiss his ass, and you kiss his ass. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. Happy Hanukkah. Sea Life Bangkok Ocean World is an aquarium in Bangkok. It's the largest aquarium in Southeast Asia. It covers approximately 110,000 square feet with hundreds of different species on display and exhibits totaling about 1,300,000 gallons of water. Okay, so uh, we are back in the hotel. Um, I did put on some long pants, but we're a little bit worn out. So uh, I think we're going to try again tomorrow to get back into the sky bar. Um, so tune into our blog tomorrow and see if we get in. <laughs>